Good morning children. Today we will be doing the first unit of our English textbook that is A Clean Neighborhood under which we will be doing a poem. The title of our poem is Fabulous Beast where fabulous means very good and beast means an animal especially a large one. Let's get started. There's a fabulous beast in my neighborhood. It's called the garbage truck. It arrives every morning and gobbles up everything that we call yuck. In the first paragraph, the poet says that there is a very good beast or nice beast in her neighborhood and it's called the garbage truck. Garbage truck is considered as a beast over here because it is very huge. It comes every morning and collects all the garbage quickly. It collects everything that we consider as disgusting or something which is unpleasant. It's very quick and noisy too. Its mouth is in its rear end and it's always gaping wide. In its head, it's got a human who takes it for a ride. Its mouth, where it collects all the garbage, is at the back part of the truck and is always wide open. And in the front, which is referred to as a head of the truck, it's got a person who rides the truck, that is the driver. When it's done its round, you'll see, stuck between its pointy teeth, curls of peel and plastic bags, fish bones and shreds of meat. When it's done collecting the garbage, we can notice between the sharp teeth, there are some eatables and peels of vegetables or plastic bags which get stuck in between. Also, there are fish bones and narrow pieces of meat in between of the teeth from where it collects the garbage. And when it's full, it spits it out, whack too, on a garbage dump. And that's why this monstrous beast never gets fat or even plump. And when it becomes full, it goes to the garbage dumping area and empties into that. And just because of that, this very large and frightening beast never gets fat as it keeps on emptying the collected waste. That's all for the day. Thank you. God bless.